In an AC distribution system, clean, undistorted voltage and current are usually represented as sinusoidal waveforms. Ideally, the peaks of these waves align. However, several factors can cause current to peak before or after voltage. This time difference is referred to as phase shift or phase angle. This is usually expressed in degrees and is represented by the mathematical symbol phi. One way to display phase shift is via a phase or diagram. To illustrate, we have connected an AEMC PowerPad 3 Model 8336 Power Quality Analyzer to an AC distribution system and a computer running data view with the PowerPad 3 control panel. When we view real-time data from the instrument, we have the option of displaying a phase or diagram. As shown on the screen, phase shift values are displayed both graphically and in tabular format. In this case, the phase shift between current and voltage for phase 2 is 5 degrees. The causes of phase shift include inductive and capacitive loads. In a capacitive circuit, the current waveform leads the voltage, producing a positive phase shift such as the one observed in our example. In an inductive circuit, current lags voltage, resulting in a negative phase shift. In a purely capacitive circuit, phase shift is 90 degrees while in a purely inductive circuit, phase shift is negative 90 degrees. The amount and direction of phase shift can therefore help you determine whether the circuit under test is capacitive or inductive, and to what degree. Phase shift has an adverse impact on power factor. To understand why, let's consider the formula for calculating power factor, which is derived by dividing true power by apparent power. Apparent power is simply voltage times current. To calculate true power, we factor in the cosine of the phase shift. When phase shift is zero, its cosine is one, resulting in true power equaling apparent power. In this case, power factor is one, the ideal value, also known as unity. However, when phase shift is non-zero, its cosine is less than one. This results in true power falling below apparent power and consequently a power factor less than one. As the absolute value of phase shift increases, power factor decreases. In extreme cases, as phase shift approaches 90 or negative 90 degrees, power factor approaches zero. Current probes used to connect the instrument to the circuit can introduce spurious phase shift into the measurement. Probe electronics and other internal components can produce inductive or capacitive measurement error for the circuit, affecting accuracy. Another contributing factor is the probe's core material, such as steel or other ferrous metal. This error can be especially significant in circuits with high THD or when measuring low currents. For example, suppose we are measuring a circuit with no phase shift. In other words, current and voltage waves are peaking simultaneously. As we showed earlier, the power factor for this circuit is one. If the current probe introduces an error in the phase measurement of five degrees, power factor would be 0.9962, a measurement error of 0.38%. Phase shift error can be especially acute at higher frequencies. This is due to the fact that as the wavelength grows shorter, the phase shift represents an increasingly larger percentage of the waveform. For instance, the graph shown on the screen, reproduced from the user manual of an AC current probe, shows how increasing frequency correlates with increasing phase shift for the subject probe. As you can see, at lower frequencies, phase shift is virtually negligible. At higher frequencies, such as those associated with high order harmonics, phase shift changes significantly. To reduce measurement errors, you can select probes specially designed to reduce phase shift. For example, the AEMC AC current probe, model SR752, features a low phase shift of two degrees or less in the current range one to 10 amps, and one degree or less above 10 amps, under typical reference conditions. This concludes our quick review of phase shift. For more information about AEMC current probes, please visit our website. And be sure to check our YouTube channel for instructional videos about other topics in electronics, including the many products offered by AEMC.